Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will see how we can create a root user in our Kali Linux virtual machine. And first of all, we will use multiple command. And then at the end of this video, we will use a single line command to create a root user. So first, I need to open the terminal. And to increase the font size, I will use Ctrl Shift plus. And to decrease the font size, Ctrl minus. So first, as we are going to create a new user, we have to be a root. And in order to do that, I will do switch user. So sudo su and give the password for Kali. And now that we are root user, uh, first of all, we will use a common called user add. And following to that, we will use another command called user mod or user modification. So let's have a quick look like what kind of options that are available for um, user add command. So if we do user add minus minus help, it shows us all the options that we can use along with this command. So first of all, we will use this minus F M option to create a home directory. Um, we will use this minus S to um, add a particular shell, bash shell uh, for that part, um, for that user. And um, when we will do user mod, we will use this minus G um, option as well. And we can see over here like how we can actually use this command. Right, first we need to write the command and then option and then the username that we want to specify. So let's get started. Let's clear this out. So first we will use this user add and then uh, we will use this minus M option and then we will specify the name of the user. So I already had uni assistant. Um, so what I will do, I will create another user called use me assistant one and press enter and now that we have this user um let's change the password first of all so pass wd command and then uni assistant one and add the password so which we, we cannot see the password but if you type the password and retype it correctly you will be seeing this command the password updated successfully so Let's change back to this, um, you know, new user that we have created. So um, we will do SCU switch user and then uni assistant one. So now, if we do who am I, we will see that we are uni assistant. So um, you know, if we want to use any command that requires sudo. Um, we'll see that it won't allow us to do that. So if we try to do sudo su right now um, and give the password, we see that it's saying that sudo, um, uni assistant is not in the sudo file. So we need to add this uni assistant to this sudo group when, um, I mean, and following that, this user will be a sudo user. So let's Change back to Kali first, and then um, let's make it root user. And now we want to modify our Uni Assistant one user. So what we will do is the command user mod, and then first of all we want to, as we already have this user we will use minus a to append and we will use another option called minus g in order to add um add our user to the pseudo group and then we specify the name of the user now uh, instead of writing these two options separately we can um do something like this and it will still work um so if we press enter then this uni assistant will be added to this uh, pseudo user so what we are doing is we are doing user modification and we are appending 
um, this EVA system to the pseudo all group. So I want to add uh, the shell as well as we said at the beginning minus s option. Um, and what it will do is um, instead of giving us this sort of normal shell, we will specify a bash shell so that it looks like this um, root Kali. So in order to do that, what we need to do is minus s and then backslash bin backslash bash. All right, so that will uh, do our work and if we press enter and now uh, it has modified all those requirements that we added. So now if we do SEU uni assistant tagging, So now we can see that we have this bash shell added, whereas it was a different one before, right? So now if we want to do sudo seu and try to be a root user, um, we can see that we can do that, right? So in this way, we can create a new user and we can um, modify that user and you know add shell. So let's clear it up. So now. So I will change back to Kali again. All right, so now let's see how we can use this whole thing in one single line. So again, we will do user add. So this time we will use minus s to specify the shell. And then we want to use um minus capital g to add it to sudo and then we want to specify minus m uh, to create a home directory for the user and then finally we will add um the username so the username can be um test user so once it's done press enter and that test user has been created so now we have to change the password to change the password for this test user we need to specify pass wd and then the username press enter and then specify the um, password retype the password and the password has been updated successfully so now if we want to uh, you know log in as this test user we will be able to do that um, so let's change back to this test user so switch and now we can see that we have this bash shell um, as we had before for this for the uni assistant one user so we want to try to be our root user sudo su and then the password of the test user press enter and still uh, we can see that we actually have achieved everything that we use multiple command to um, you know get get to make the uni assistant one as the root user and this time we used one single um, line command um, to make this test user as a root user so again the Common is user add minus s and then backslash bin backslash bash minus z to um, add the user to the sudo group and minus m to make a home directory. Now I could keep this minus s, z, and m together as one option, but just to make it clear, I just kept that those separate. So I hope that this video was helpful to you. Um, and now you will be able to create any user that you want um, in either way using multiple commands or a single line command so that's all for this video thanks all for watching and if this video was helpful for you please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel